Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jump right into it. Uh, this is the home backup generator that everyone seems to be kind of jumping onto. I have as well. Uh, this is the uh, Westinghouse WGen 11500 TFC. And the reason why you're gonna wanna go with this over a Duramax of the same conventional style is that this has less than 5% total harmonic distortion. Whereas the Duramaxes, unless you go with an inverter generator, you're gonna have upwards of 12, 15, 20%, depending on your model of uh, total harmonic distortion, which is terrible for like the newer refrigerators, anything that runs a microprocessor, anything that has a circuit board, which would be your, like I said, refrigerators, your washing machines, uh, sensitive electronics, computers, and in my case, power stations. So I'm gonna get this thing out of the crate, show you what you get for your hard earned money, and then show you how this, being a traditional generator, non-inverter, will charge a sensitive power station like an Eco, Eco Flow Ultra. So full disclaimer, I was not paid by Westinghouse to do this video. They will not partner with me, which is good for you guys because this is an unbiased review. And I will tell you that this is my uh, second unit um, on this new latest round of purchasing because the first unit did arrive with a bent intake valve. So uh, I will put that out there as to say that you need to check it the second you get it and make sure you don't need to uh, return it or warranty it. So I think that was just a shipping mishap, but in the box, it's gonna come like this. You gotta tear the box open to get the generator out because you're dealing with over 250 pounds here. So unless you guys want an early hernia, don't lift this thing out of here. Once you get it open, you're gonna want the goodie box, which is basically comes with oil, some tools to put the thing together, natural gas and propane line, uh, which is actually, I don't see the NG line, should be in here somewhere. It is a tri-fuel tri generator though. I don't need the natural gas side, but one thing I like about this generator too, over the Duromaxes, is that these are the plastic tires, which I didn't think I'd like at first, but if you've got um, the Duromax style with those pneumatic rubber tires, or even if they're non-pneumatic but still rubber, they do go flat and get flat spots in them. So when you get this thing, before you do anything else, this is what I did wrong last time. Get down here on your pull starter, pull on it, and make sure you can actually pull the pull starter. This is what was wrong with the other one that I had. Don't pull it too many times. There's not any oil in it, but just make sure you can pull your pull starter. So from inside the crate, real easy if you're doing it this way. Tip it on one side. Don't let it hang here forever. It's not full of oil, but still. Get it on this side. Get the feet put on the bottom of it first, then move over to the wheels. So there's a first look at it on video. It's going to come with all the warning tags on it. It's basically just telling you to put oil in it. So that's the next step in the process here. But... If you're gonna, I don't get, I can't get any video of me putting it together because I don't have anybody watching me, but you get, you're basically flipping it on one side, flipping it back on the other side, and it's pretty easy to maneuver. So they supply a little bent funnel here, which is nice because it goes in and it keeps it at the right angle. Um, I know from experience filling these up before, get it all the way in there. Don't just kind of hold it at the front, and then you're gonna use the whole uh, bottle of oil that they furnish with it. So you guys have probably seen this thing run a million times on YouTube. So I'm gonna just show you my practical setup or how I have this running and what I'm using it for. It is a whole house generator. It's going into an inlet box that you guys are probably familiar with at your house. But instead of it going right to my panel, I put an EcoFlow uh, Delta Pro in between that system. So the Pro is what's actually running the house, clean power, inverter power, only uses what it needs. And then this is a big battery charger uh, for the Pro when I, when I need to top it off and solar isn't where it's at. So. I have made up a generator line that goes directly into my 250 gallon tank underground. And this is also kind of a follow up video to the Generac video I did where everyone was saying this, uh, but that's tied right into my big tank on the house. So I have no problems with flow on something like this that's pumping out serious wattage and it's gonna be feeding 30 amps into the EcoFlow Pro. So I'll show you some of the uh, inputs on, and also how this works on an EcoFlow Ultra or any sort of sensitive uh, battery. So further, without further ado, rambling on here, let's fire it up. Get some footage of this on camera. It's all set to propane. Fire it up. So. I set the generator to pump out, or set the EcoFlow to accept the maximum amount of power in from the in-out port. 
which is coming into the side here. And you can see it's bringing in a little bit of solar still. It's almost the end of the day. It's bringing in 7,490 watts of clean, low total harmonic distortion power into the inverter. And then the inverter now is feeding my house, which right now it's running a two ton central air conditioner um, and a couple of lights and of TV and stuff. So it, the variable speed air conditioners are just sip electricity. So this thing's powering my house right now. It's bringing in 7,500. It's shooting out about 1700 and this is the perfect little backup power solution that I could come up with um, fully DIY. I have some solar tidying I have to do over here. This goes into my panel that's upstairs. And then my, instead of having a huge cord, which you're kind of wondering, well, why is there no generator cord on the floor? I went on ahead and the thing that the generator's plugged into out there in the wall runs to this right here. So, all the generator is doing is essentially feeding a 240 volt outlet inside of the house and then the EcoFlow can easily plug into that and power the uh, house. So this is basically the same setup that you guys probably have on an interlock, except you're inserting the EcoFlow Ultra in between the generator and the interlock. So you can just sip power when you don't need it. And you don't have to hear that thing wrapping all night and all day if you have an extended power outage. And then this one over here is for another video. This is for the other side of the house. I have two panels on my house. So that's it guys. I'm gonna cut back to the generator. So I'll let the generator live here and hopefully never have to use it. But if I need to, and we have a storm, this will be the go-to generator to get onto the EcoFlows. I didn't do a video on this yet, but this is the backup to my backup. Backup. This is my Gen Max, which is a tri-fuel uh, beast. Just loud, 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 but this will crank out 7,000 continuous watts on propane, 9,500. I only run any of this stuff on propane. Carburetors are a pain in the neck, but that's an inverter generator, so I can run the whole house right off of that. And really, the point of the video, I'm not trying to bash the Duramax because this thing got me through Milton for the last two days. I don't want to blame this either on, I did have a refrigerator failure pretty much right after Milton and that could have been from lightning or whatever but the total harmonic distortion on this generator which I love this generator but the total harmonic distortion on this generator it will not allow power coming in from it into any of the EcoFlow stuff it's got a very high total harmonic distortion and I kind of hate that they sell this as a whole home backup power solution because people don't really understand that the THD value should be printed right on the front of it because everything nowadays has a microprocessor, some sort of sensitive electronics that are plugged into your house. And if you're just powering up a panel or a transfer switch with one of these things and you don't know that you're doing damage and don't even know it. So, and, and this is in the same price arena as that you're going to be about $1,400, $1,500 either way, give or take a few. I mean, this great for a job site great for just a ton of power nice reliable engine but it just doesn't have that clean that cleanliness and power like the westinghouse does so again not paid by them but if you guys are in the market to buy a big gas sucker power whole house power generator look at this particular model not all of the tfc series are like that the eleven thousand five hundred is the low to total harmonic distortion rig that you're going to want to get if you're power and sensitive electronics or in my case which a lot of people are going this direction is the whole home backup battery systems this will do it less than five percent 12 to 15 percent some cases you hear 18 percent just kind of depends on the generator bible or whoever you're getting their details to so if this guy's helped you in any way please thumbs up the video subscribe all that good stuff and i'll make another educational video soon later